Hey there everyone, in this video I will show you how you can use Meta Conversions API with Go High Level to improve your Facebook lead quality. In this example, we are going to work with instant forms instead of landing page ads. And if you've seen my last video where I discussed how to integrate lead forms with Go High Level and how to set up some automations, if you want to see the integration and automation part, you can see my last video. And I will link that video in the description of this video as well. So you can go ahead and watch it. You can consider this video as an extension of that one. Let's look at our campaign. So we created a draft of this campaign where we have a couple of ads and the lead form was called this lead forms 27 October. And if we go to our Go High Level account, we integrated that lead form, this one with this Go High Level account. And let me make sure if it's still connected basically. So we will go to settings and integrations and see if we go to Facebook form fields mapping, we can see the, the lead form 27 October is properly connected and activated. Now our goal is to improve our lead quality. So as the leads keep coming in through this form submit, when we make this campaign live, our goal is to over time improve the lead quality. But how do we do that? We do that by, if we go to opportunities in this account, so if you've seen my last video again, we created an automation to add the leads to this pipeline stage, new leads. So whenever there's a lead form submission, they will automatically appear here. So we already did that automation. If we move them or if somehow they automatically get moved to either booked appointment or sold, we want to send a conversion API event to meta and that we will do using go high level and that's basically what we'll see but our goal is to send good lead data to meta using capi or conversions api so either when they book a call or when they attend the call or when you sell something to them move them to sold and this is just my pipeline your pipeline can be entirely different but the goal here is when they take an action when you know that this is a good quality lead either they buy something or they attend the appointment you want to send information using capi to meta and that's what exactly we're going to do first of all what we need to do is we need to go back to our ads account and then we need to go to business settings from here so once we click on business settings it will ask us to send a code if you have two-factor authentication on i have it on and it's good to have it on so this is my code and once we are in the business settings it will ask us to verify again let's just verify that real quick all right verification done what we're going to do now is go to data sources and data sets and pixels so i actually have lots of pixels set up under my business account if you want you can create a new pixel by clicking on add and then add a new data set here. Like data sets and pixels are basically the same thing. So create a pixel and let's actually create a pixel. No worries. So we'll just say test or something. So you can just turn it off or turn it on. It doesn't really make a big difference. So once you do this, what you're going to do now is... So the first thing you need to do is connect yourself. So assign people. So I'll just say this is me and I will assign it to myself. So when I assign this pixel to myself, that means I am giving myself access to use this pixel. The next thing I'm going to do is connected assets. Click on that and then go to other business assets and connect your business ad account. So I'm basically connecting this pixel with my ad account. So these are the things you need to do. And if you have these done already, no need to worry about anything else. So once you do these, just click on events manager and it will open up the events manager screen where you need to configure this pixel. So this is the pixel we are working with, right? So as you see, copy pixel test. Now, the first thing we're going to do is set up conversions API click on this and once it opens we will click on see other ways to set up and we will say set up manually and hit next now we are going to say conversions API and metapixel hit next and then click on start capi setup and you can finish and close this screen hey everyone just wanted to take a quick moment to share my school community where if you join you get to ask me questions about issues you're facing on go high level ads automation ai you can also be a part of the weekly coaching sessions where i conduct training on many different topics and we do a q a session after that besides you get free access to a lot of my courses that i'm not uploading on youtube anymore some of them you can already see on the screen also there are members only discounts so if you join you get 50 percent off on my courses my snapshots my funnels everything that's pretty much what i want to share see you on the other side now this is the configuration window for the capi or the conversions api so click on continue now you need to select your business category so if it's travel automotive uh, professional service anything like that you can just select that but i'll just select other business category and these are the events we possibly may track in our campaigns if not now in the future so we will say we may track leads we may track contacts we also may track schedules and also maybe purchase so 
these are the stuff we are tracking. And here you need to configure the parameters you need to track for each event. So for contact, I will say definitely event ID and literally select all these from here. So that's for contacts. And for lead events, we will do the same thing. Event ID for purchase, doing the same thing. Now we will go to schedule and do the same thing. So it depends on you what events you want to track. But for this screen, you need to select all of them because you're sending all these signals for the leads quality improvement. So when you're sending good lead information to Meta, you're saying that, okay, I want to find similar leads that matches all these information to the lead I just sent. So that's basically it. Continue, continue, done. Now in this screen, we need to generate an access token. Here, you can set up dataset quality API. I don't usually do this because uh, that's not really necessary at this point. I'll just do set up without dataset quality API and generate access token. So once this access token is generated, we will just stay here. And now it's time for us to go create a few automations. So now let's go to our Go High Level account and go to automation and we will Let's just create a folder called Cappy. Go to the folder and create an automations. Our goal is to actually, let's just create the workflow later. Again, let's discuss the goals. When we automatically or manually move our leads to either booked appointment or attended appointment or sold, we want to send these leads back to Meta through Cappy and say, these are the good leads and find me good leads like these. That's how we improve the lead quality over time. So let's just go to automation. Let's say Cappy and create a workflow. Now we will create called attended appointment sent to Cappy. So if we do this, attended appointment sent to Cappy, the goal of this workflow is when you move them. So we're saying pipeline stage changed. When we change their pipeline stage to, let's say in pipeline leads and we say we move them to the stage attended follow-up so they attended what we do is we add an event or an action called meta conversion api so click on this and now you need to do this you need to change this to a lead event because funnel event is just for conversion tracking purposes for uh, your funnels if you're doing landing page campaign so that's not needed just do lead event and where it says access token, just go ahead and copy the token you generated on your Cappy configuration screen and paste it. Now, the other thing you need is the data set. So just finish everything here. And what you're going to do now is copy the data set ID from this part over here. So where settings, just copy the data set ID and paste it here. Now in the stage name, it's very important. You need to go to this, just click on this tag option over here and then go to where it says opportunity and say opportunity in the stage name. So basically what you're doing is you're sending the lead information and saying what stage in your pipeline the lead is in. So if it's an attended, that means Meta knows that, okay, this person attended the call and this guy actually needs more people who has the possibility of attending calls. That's what you're saying. That's the signal you're sending to Meta. And the value is basically a potential revenue you may get from this person or this lead. So if you say you have a potential of selling a thousand dollar product, that's basically your value and the, this currency. No need custom mapping, that's it. So save it, publish it and save. So we have done one. Now you can do multiple like these. So if I just basically duplicate this workflow and I said now, okay, I have created a workflow for attended when we move them to attended. Now, what if we move them to sold? We need to send another Cappy event. So that's basically what we're gonna do now. Let's just duplicate this workflow and say sold or closed. So we are moving them to sold or closed now and sending a data through Cappy. So here in the pipeline stage changed, the stage will be sold instead of attended appointment or attended follow-up. And the conversions API action doesn't need to be changed because it's dynamically getting the stage name now, which will be sold in this workflow. And the other one, it was attended follow-up and nothing else needs to change it here. Just save it, publish it and save it again. So that's how we configure Meta Conversions API with Go High Level for lead forms. This is a lead event. That's why we are using lead event because of lead forms. Now, if you want to see it in the advanced builder, you can do it as well. Like this is your workflow in the advanced builder. You can do the same thing for the other one as well. Like if you want to. Now, what we need to do now is a very important thing in the Facebook ads. So if we go to our ad account, Let's go back and let's go to our ad account. All right, we are in our ad campaign. So this is the lead form campaign, right? So if we go to the ad, you can see we created an ad and we created the lead form here. It's connected. Now it's just need to be published. But before publishing it, scroll all the way down and then where it says CRM events, just need to 
mark that and where it says website events, just select the pixel that you have just created and configured with Capi. Now, the first time configuring this, you may not select the pixel under CRM events. So it may just give you one default pixel or may not give you the pixel you configured for Capi at all. So for that, you need to go to the events manager again and go to the pixel and hit connect data. So you need to connect the data source and select lead connector here. So just go to this CRM and then go to lead connector and select the, the data set you are working with. So in my case, this is the one, actually hit Capi pixel test, hit next. Now it will ask you to log into your CRM, which is go high level. So we will just log in. Let me just log in real quick. Okay, so I'm in my account. Let's go back to events manager. Let's connect the data source again because the first time it logged me in and then it didn't do anything. So I'll just do next. All right, I think it's, let me check if it's connected. All right, so all you needed to do is log in. That's it. So I just checked and it says connect your CRM is fine. You don't need to configure sales funnel. That's not a problem. Since we have connected that lead connector as one of the data sources to this pixel, if we go back and refresh our ad, we should be able to connect that up. Now, as you can see, since we have added lead connector as a data source to the pixel, we can actually select this over here. So that's basically it, guys, for CAPI integration and improving lead quality on your campaigns if you're using lead form. So this is the process you need to go through. Once again, set up a pixel, configure Capi, and then go to your Go High level and create a couple of workflows like these, which is pretty simple. Use the access token and the dataset ID. And finally, add a data source to your pixel, which is lead connector. After that, you'll be able to add that pixel in your ad. So Meta knows that, okay, this guy is feeding me good lead data, and this is the pixel they're using as a CRM event on their ad. So that means we need to send this person or find more similar people uh, as an audience for this guy's campaigns or ads. So that's it for this video. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions about anything about Meta, Capi or Meta ads in, in general. And I will see you in the next one.